So now I can summarize the arrangement of the atrioventricular junctions in the normal heart. The cartoon is showing you the same picture that we were looking at with the specimen in which we had removed the atrial chambers and the arterial trunks. What we can now see is that shown here in yellow with the red dotted line is the separate insertion of the left atrial myocardium all the way round the mitral valve. We then see, with the yellow dots superimposed on the green area, that the right atrial myocardium inserts virtually all the way around the right atrioventricular junction. We can also note that due to the deeply wedged position of the subaortic outflow tract, there is an area where the membranous septum separates the subaortic outflow tract from the right atrium, so giving us a true atrioventricular septal region, and then a second area shown by the blue star in which the atrial myocardium overlaps the crest of the ventricular mass. Previously we had called this a muscular atrioventricular septum. Now we know it is really a sandwich of atrial myocardium separated from the ventricular mass by an upward continuation of the inferior atrioventricular groove.